When you hear the words social media, you often think of selfies or pictures of food, but it is much more than that. And here to talk about how hematologists can benefit from using social media is Dr. Joe McHale. Why don't you tell us what is the number one benefit for hematologists? Well, there are a lot of benefits. We just had a session. We focused today on Twitter, and Twitter is an opportunity for people to share information across borders, independent of restrictions, in a way where we can collaborate more fully together, where we can be on the cutting edge. What we did today in the social media session was to try and demystify some of the challenges of Twitter, uh, that we had uh, out outstanding experts on our panel, some of whom work as patient advocates, others who use Twitter to educate people about new drugs, others who travel a lot and so they can send tweets back and information back to their colleagues uh, for meetings that those colleagues wouldn't be able to go to. Or even how it can be used as a tool in research to uh, recruit patients or to educate people about the kinds of things that we can do. So what should hematologists actually be tweeting? Give us a couple of specific examples of information they should be tweeting so it's more impactful. Sure, so um, I mean the sky is the limit but we think at a meeting like this that there's really key information that is obtained in an abstract but when things are presented in a public forum like this uh, we know that uh, those authors that are presenting or those speakers that are presenting are presenting it in a public way and so many of our hematologists or allied health colleagues here can tweet back some of those things that were said, uh, important practices items, important steps forward in research that will obviously encourage more of it. For, for many, uh, today we had a bit of a focus on patient advocacy and it gives hope to a lot of patients to know the kinds of things that are coming, the newer uh, drugs that are being approved or the newer research ways in which we're going. So real quickly, just touch on what some of the challenges may be when it comes to concerns over uh, publishing information that's researched or copyrighted or you're concerned maybe about sharing that information on a public place, what should they do? So ASH has a policy around the certain of things that we share, but you know, the world has changed and we under we even let our abstract presenters and our researchers know when you present in a public forum like this it really becomes public information and Twitter is just an opportunity to spread that if the wings further. And we also remind people that when you post something on Twitter it's there and it's pretty well there eternally. Um, so we, we want people to think about what they post but as one of our uh, committee members said today you should think about what you post but not worry about what you post. And if anybody has any questions they can tweet you right? What's your Twitter handle? Oh right so they can go to jmchaelmd, uh, is, that's my Twitter handle. Uh, and of course, uh, if they want to learn more about from our session today, we have a special hashtag for our session. It was hashtag AshSM for social media. Thanks so much, Dr. Joe McHale. Hashtag Ash15.